Hi everyone, Ben here for TheBassCast.com and welcome to a new episode of The Cull. In this video I'm going to be expanding on my last video on catching spawning fish with a little live action video on how to actually catch one as well as expanding on my gear and equipment used. So let's get to it. Alright, before I actually show the live action video, this is the gear, the exact rod and reel setup I was using. This is a 7 to 1 quantum smoke. Fast gear ratio reel is important because when you do set the hook on the fish, you want to be able to bring him to you as quick as you can and either net him or swing him in the boat. I'm using a 6 foot 6 St. Croix Avid heavy rod. You want a heavy action rod so that you can set the hook and have a lot of backbone when you go and drive that hook through the fish. A lot of anglers will probably opt for a seven foot or longer rod. I personally prefer six foot six. It's just what I'm comfortable with. All right, so here's the bait I've got. I'm using 20 pound monofilament. A lot of people like to use braid. I like monofilament to get a little more feel. I'm using a quarter ounce slip sinker worm weight and a two uh, aught two worm hook, offset worm hook. The bait is a five inch zoom lizard watermelon color and how I'm rigging it I'm just rigging it Texas style coming through the head of the bait like that push it up on the offset uh, of the hook right here and then come through the body of the lizard like that so that the hooks pointing up like that and then usually what I'll do is bury the point of that hook in just the tad into the body. And you want to make sure the head of the lizard is up above your knot right here so that slip sinker can come down and it won't interfere with your knot at all. And burying that tip of the hook in just a tad keeps it completely weedless. You don't have to worry about getting hung up when you're pitching into the spawning fish. Now in this video you're about to see there's two different kinds of fish that I'm fishing for. I went and pegged out two bass on the beds one day after a tournament and the first fish is a very non-aggressive fish. He's, you can, you'll be able to see the tendencies he's had. He's, he's had a sore on his mouth. That fish had most likely been caught before that day and this is probably one that wouldn't be worth wasting time on in a tournament but you'll see some of his tendencies as I fish for him. A few things to take note of in this video is my boat positioning. You'll be able to see I'm near the main lake. There's some big yacht type boats going past me, washing wakes up to where uh, my position. You really, if you don't have a shallow water anchor, you really have to stay on the trolling motor. And be aware of your situation. Don't get washed up right on top of uh, the fish because it can spook him. Um, you'll take note of where I'm positioned, not too close to the fish to spook him but you need to be close enough still that you can see him and present the bait, you know, fairly close to him. Got the perfect setup here. Got the fishes laying next to a stump up here in some shallow water. You can see the bed, he's got a shell bed made up right here. Try to get up uh, as close to him without spooking him. Turn the trolling motor power way down. One of the keys to fishing for a spawn like this irritate him by going back. Go past him, come to him. And you'll see him smack at it sometimes. I'm gonna bump him right here. I bumped him, he swam away real quick. But when he does that, let him calm down and move back to the shell formation on the bed. And you just want to irritate him. Keep going back, go back quick sometimes. You know, when he when he takes off like that, he looks like he's angry. If he takes off, let him recover for a second, but it looks like he's angry, he's smacking his lips. Go back as quick as you can, pitch it right back in there. He's turning on it right there. He looks like he's smacking his lips at it, so go back real fast, right back to him. Swam off on him. Back off for a second with him. Now. 
I never did catch that fish. It was very uh, non-aggressive. He was showing some signs of of being aggressive, but he'd clearly been caught before that day and was very finicky. It, I would have probably had to spend at least two or three hours on him to catch him. But the fish in the boathouse slipped right behind him, was very aggressive, and this is what happened on the fourth cast to that fish. There he is. <laughs> Hold still. Bleeding everywhere. That's how it's done. <laughs> That's what happens when the fish is actually aggressive. Ironically, those two fish were probably less than 10 yards away from each other the whole time can be a lot of fun when you get into a cove it has got a lot of spawning fish on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Ben Hudson, and keep visiting thebasscast.com. You're home for everything in bass fishing.